Luke Cage Season 2 hits the ground running as Mike Coulter's Luke is branded as the hero of Harlem and with the fame comes a new enemy in the form of Mustafa Shakir's Bushmaster, who actually isn't after Luke to begin with, but Alfie Woodward's Mariah Dillard, who's still embroiled in Harlem's criminal underworld and thanks to Bushmaster's ties to her and her family, is on the Jamaican's hit list. On the other side of the coin, we have Simone Missick returning as Misty Knight, who after the events of The Defenders has to deal with with life without an arm and how that affects her work. Theo Rossi returns as Shades Alvarez, who begins to question Mariah's spiral into madness as he follows her down the dark path. Like the previous Marvel shows before it, Luke Cage Season 2 is again 13 episodes, and while for the other shows that has been seen as a detriment since there usually is a dip in quality near the end. But this season is written really well that that dip never actually comes and the quality continues throughout the episodes. It helps as well that the B plots this season are very good as well. Misty learning to deal with having one arm and questioning if she should plant evidence to catch a criminal is really awesome. As did Shade's whole arc with Comanche and Mariah and his betrayal of his friend making him question his actions was really quite amazing and again like the first season Theo Rossi does a fantastic job. Finn Jones also makes an appearance as Danny Rand, the immortal Iron Fist and is finally done justice this season as the Heroes for Hire put a hurt on Bushmaster's drug operation. Bushmaster was an absolutely fantastic villain as well and they didn't pull the old switcheroo like they did in the first season where we have another villain take over in the final couple of episodes after they built up Cottonmouth as this really great complex villain. This time Bushmaster is there all the way through and he has a fantastic backstory that ingrains him in Mariah's past as well. I love that he really wasn't a villain to Luke. He never just came to the city to fight Luke and to deal with Luke and and he just happened to get in the way of his revenge mission against Mariah, which led to some really great parts from Mike Coulter, whose Luke is kind of caught in the middle of this sort of gang turf war and actually at times has to protect Mariah, the woman he seeks to take down from Bushmaster. Luke Cage Season 2 was a fantastic continuation of the story Chio Hidari Koka delivered in Season 1 and vastly improved in almost every way, with a much more compelling villain and narrative that never strayed away from itself to fill out time. The cast performances were also greatly improved, highlights being Theo Rossi and Mustafa Shakir's Bushmaster. It will be very interesting to see where Luke Cage goes from here, seeing as the ending teases a much larger role for him going forward and probably in the other Netflix shows as well. I'm going to give Luke Cage Season 2 a 9 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.